I need to clean this mirror. I need to clean my office, period. Just look at my desk. It is a mess. It's a mess, a mess, a mess. I mean, it's not that bad, but it's a mess. I'm going to use this, wipe this up. Can you tell what kind of person works here? Is she a writer? Is she an artist? <laughs> is she a creative? Is she a doctor? Which one? What what vibes do you see when you look at this desk? Yeah, I love my little keyboard. You see this little keyboard? I love the sound it makes. It's like the old vintage keyboards, but with brand new colors. So as I stated earlier, this is a reaction video about my BBL, so to speak. But I just wanted to show you a few things that happened earlier that day um, that led up to what you're about to see. <laughs> and so you can get also a little bit of a feel of who I am. Artist, creative, DIYer, uh, physician, uh, mother, <laughs> wife, a lot of things. Anyway, let's go ahead and focus on clearing up my office or my desk in particular because that is what I was focused on doing before this turned into a reaction video. And you'll see what I mean later. So just follow along. <laughs> follow along and indulge me a little. So I'm cleaning off my filing cabinets, looking nice. Um, and now I'm going to put everything back and also fill up uh, all my containers with my pens and pencils and colored markers because, I don't know, they just always seem to disappear. Um, so I like to keep them full because I like to have choices when I'm either drawing or writing or writing out a calendar or whatever creative thing that I'm working on, um, you know? So let's clean off my stapler and I like things that reflect light if you don't know I like shiny things and also of course pretty things and you know I love my dolls Ooh, I must show you this journal my kids gave me for Mother's Day I thought it was so cute they really get me they really really get me <laughs> it's got all these quotes and stories from famous women and all of it is so uplifting like this one, this quote says, you can start late, look different, be uncertain, and still succeed. Don't you love that? Here's another quote I like in the book. Owning who we are is power. We've got to dare to stand out. See, from Kareem and Miriam, <laughs> so cute. I recently bought these gel roller pens from Walmart. They're, they work pretty good. I like them for journaling, but also just writing my to-do lists or writing notes when I'm making YouTube videos, um, scheduling, whatever. But anyway, my desk is done. She looks neat. But of course, there's another side to this office, right? This is my standing desk, or this area is where I stand to edit videos, YouTube videos, and whatever other social media stuff I do. So while clearing up the clutter in this area, I find some old pictures and old mail. Look at this one. It was taken in Costa Rica. I was in my 20s and pregnant with my first child. I didn't know I was pregnant, but I still look pretty thin, right? Yeah, it just brings back memories. Isn't that the thing when you're clearing up, you just dig up all this old stuff that you hadn't thought or forgot about? Look at this old picture of Kenton and my mom, 1992. Look how skinny my mom looked and also Kenton, so young, right? We have literally grown up together. That's how long we've known each other. And this is an old picture of my mom. She was in her 30s. She looked really good, didn't she? to be 30 and my father that's an old picture old ID of my father in Nigeria another one of Kenton 1994 did we have kids then I don't think so huh. and this is one with my mom and Kenton and my cousin she was such a little girl and <laughs> how time flies wow and this is a picture of me five months pregnant with our first child so I can't believe it but I remember thinking that I was so big in that picture 1992 I believe and I was just I always used to write notes to myself in the back of pictures I always wanted to remember one day but yeah I was five months pregnant I was happy but I felt so fat 
if only I knew that I was going to get so much bigger <laughs> and have rolls and rolls. This is a picture of me with acne because I never had issues with my skin except when I was pregnant. And then I also found this invitation um, for my medical school graduation, which the invitation is over 20 years old. And I think it was in my mother's stuff when she was moving from New York. So I'm going to keep it safe. Oh, and by the way, I didn't tell you, did I, that Kareem got accepted to be an RA, a resident advisor on the college campus that he is going to or attends. So next year he's going to be an RA. So proud of him. And then I found this old exam book, basically with all my writing, some literature, or I think it was a black theater class I had taken. So interesting just to read my thoughts, you know, as a teenager. Speaking of which, I have tons and tons of journals. I don't know who that little girl is in that picture. I think she was one of Mariam's friends. But anyway, I have all these journals, I've told you before, over my life that I've written. Random, so ruler. random. I don't know. Anyway, one of these days, I need to do something with all those journals that I've written. <laughs> and I also have a ton of notebooks that keep me organized. So then I decided to turn my attention to this area across from my desk where I have all these clothes and books. Now these clothes are actually brand new and this is a little warning for y'all. <laughs> Be careful what you order or from whom you order. You see these little companies on Instagram, a lot of times they sell counterfeit items. So I found this out. So they will showcase a real item or a beautiful dress and then you order it and you find it's a counterfeit version of the one you saw and it's coming from some unrecognizable place in China. So I got these items, they don't fit and I'm going to return them promptly. So right as I'm clearing up, I get another package that Kenton drops off and I don't remember what it is, but I'm sort of irritated because I'm thinking, oh my God, here we go, another scam, another foolishness. Why did I order this? What is this? I don't remember what it was I ordered. Well, that's something you ordered. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, there's Oh no, I totally forgot. This will be funny. <laughs> this is interesting. Oh my God, this is hilarious. This is going to be good. Can you tell what this is? Can you tell what this is? Okay, this is like a body shaper, but what's interesting with this, and Kenton doesn't know I ordered this, he has no idea. In fact, I totally forgot I ordered this, but I'm so excited to see what it does on me. So this is supposed to give you, it has padding. It's supposed to give you like extra hips, <laughs> like funny things that you find on the internet, but it was so convincing. Anyway, I've never ordered anything like this before, so this is my first time, and I really want to see if I put it on, if Kenton can notice a difference in my body. Y'all know I always talk about how I want to get a um, tummy tuck. <laughs> So this is a non-surgical, non-surgical type of BBL without the butt part. So there's no added butt on this thing. As you can see, I have no issues with my butt. I feel like I have enough butt. It's fine. <laughs> so I don't want any additional butt. I would, however, like some hips and a flat stomach. So let's see. I already have a butt. My butt is not the issue. It's my stomach. That's the issue. And also... I wanted to see what I would look like with bigger hips. So we're going to see. This is going to be hilarious because I am totally going to uh, not tell Kenton. Put it on. Maybe I need to find a dress that looks cute. I got a 2XL because I wasn't sure. I was like, I could have gotten an extra large, but sometimes these things come small. I don't know. We'll see. So you see, it's got foam in it. Ah! <laughs> Okay, so this is what I'm wearing right now, pretty basic. So I've picked out a few things that are very unforgiving. You know, the type of clingy fabric that shows all your floors. I picked up two things out of my closet that I usually don't feel comfortable wearing. I'm gonna put it on without the shapewear or without, you know, this fake BBL. I'll put it on so you can see um, what I look like and then we'll put on the uh, shapewear underneath so you can see the difference. <laughs>
Okay, so I'm, I've got on the dress right now, a little, little spaghetti strap, and this is what it looks like. No shapewear. So no shapewear. I feel five months pregnant. And, you know, I have butt, but God did not bless me with wide hips. I didn't get any wide hips from my mother. <laughs> and of course, though, my hips would look wider or curvier if I had less of this, right? So this is me au natural. No shapewear at all, just a bra and panties. Y'all yeah, see, right? Let's see what it will look like when we put the shapewear on. Yep, I'm literally gonna put it on in front of you. Yeah, I think I might have gotten it too big though, to be honest. Oh my God, I got my foot stuck in the pocket where the foam goes. <laughs> okay, let's do that a little bit more gracefully. Oh Lord. Okay, we'll do it without showing you too much. Oh, ooh, what? Oh my God, I already know I'm gonna love it. What? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Probably can't tell because I'm wearing all this black, but mm, let's see. What? Yeah, I could have gotten a size smaller because it's not sucking me in the way I want, but the hips are definitely coming through. What? Okay. Now let's pull the dress over. Ooh. Okay, I definitely could have gotten a size smaller with the shapewear because it's not sucking me in here, but it's definitely doing what it was supposed to here. So maybe the trick is to put on my regular shapewear to suck this in. <laughs> and then put the shapewear on. So yeah, this is all my butt. There's nothing here. I got hips, y'all. I got hips. Am I the only one who sees it? Look at the before and look at where I'm at right now. Am I the only one who sees it? Tell me. Enhancements. Are so here's a better look of what it looks like before you put it on and you can see the foam padding on the sides. And this is what it looks like on. Yes, you're looking at an imperfect body, but she's real. And I wanted you to see what you get for your money when you want fake hips. <laughs> this is what it looks like. So this is what it looks like in jeans. Actually, here I'm thinking, ooh, she looks good, don't you think? Except for that fupa, she looks good. <laughs> okay, so here's the other dress that I really like, but it's just not flattering on me because of this area, unless I wear shapewear. So currently I'm not wearing anything. This is au naturel, just panties, um, you can see. And this is what I can look like from the back. So again, no shapewear. And then I'll come back, show you what it looks like with the shapewear underneath and the magic BBL. Well, I keep calling it BBL, it's not a BBL, because BBL, for those of you that don't know, uh, means that they suck out the fat, usually from this area, or this area, or wherever you have fat, or back fat here, they suck it out, and then they inject it into your buttocks and in your thighs. But it can be a very, very dangerous operation. In fact, it's one of the most dangerous operations in plastic surgery, for those that don't know. There's a high risk of pulmonary embolism or fat, not pulmonary embolism, fat embolism, which is when that fat that they have injected enters your bloodstream and goes up into your lungs and kills you. So it is definitely not something you should take lightly. So that is one major reason why I probably, I mean, I won't say never ever, but at least now, I really don't see myself ever getting a BBL. I would consider liposuction, you know, just to suck it up and also a tummy tuck. A tummy tuck is literally where they 
uh, you know, remove this lower half of your, uh, I guess, abdominal region and uh, pull the skin together and you have a flat tummy. And most of the time with women like me who also have um, abdominal recti where the muscles have separated due to childbirth, they also tighten that up. So it gives you that natural girdle. So um, I've definitely been told that no amount of weight is going to lose this area. It's just not gonna happen for me. So usually I wear shapewear um, but of course it would be better if I lost weight. I'm not gonna lie, of course it would be so much better if I lost at least 20 pounds. But I just wanna have a little bit of fun and just see what this non-surgical option looks like. So <laughs> let's put her back on. Okay. <laughs> Look at what she looks like. So this is with the shapewear. I feel like, you know, for my size top half, you know, I'm pretty top heavy. I feel like, honestly, I would look nice with wider hips. What do you think? I mean, we should all be happy with the way God has made us. We really should, but I don't see anything wrong with pretending or imagining what it could be like with something different, especially when we live in a day and age where you can get it done if you have the money and you're in good health. What do you think? <laughs> oh my God. I just wanted to see. And ain't no amount of weightlifting or exercise or aerobics gonna give you hips if you don't already have them. I'm sorry. And like I said, this doesn't add any butt. You have to already have butt for this particular um, shapewear. You just got to get rid of this bat fat. Okay. All right, let's see what Kenton thinks. I just wanted to show you my dress. No, I'm not filming. What do you think? Yeah. I've seen you in that dress. Yeah, I know. But... Do you feel like I look any different or not? Yeah, you look smoother. I look smoother? Yeah, what, well, you got spanks on or something? Yeah, come here. Right. Let me see. So what do you think? Yeah, I got... <laughs> do I look different, though? Oh, well, you look nice. You I look nice? Yeah. yeah, nothing else? You need nothing else. I mean, I see a shape of a... Uh, what, you got a garter on or a thing? Do I look thinner or fuller? Do I look thinner or do I look fuller? What do you think? I mean, you look, you look uh, shapely. I mean, look. Yeah? Okay. That's it? Well, yeah. You always look shapely, though. Really? Well, yeah. Why? <laughs> so I look the same? I just look a little bit more shapely? I mean, you always look attractively shapely to me. I don't see any difference. You don't see any difference? Really? I feel like I look uh, fuller. Hips? Something, yeah. So you I don't always think, think you got hips. You always think I have hips? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, you look like, like you usually do. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, it's up to you. I mean, it's what you've got. I mean, I always see you as extremely sexy and attractive. So I don't Wait, see come and feel me. Come and feel me. <laughs> you feel stiff. I feel stiff? Yeah, you weren't No, I'm not. I don't feel stiff. Feel down here. Is this stiff? You feel down here. Where? My sides, my hips. That feels regular? Yeah, well, you feel like you got something underneath, but I mean, like, <laughs> I don't know what you want from me, man. I'll keep I got up. hips on, boo. <laughs> but you all, it doesn't look any different to me, see? So uh, I don't know what you're talking about. What do you mean? So you really couldn't tell anything? Not I got me. hips. Come here. But you always look like you got hips and shit. Yeah, I always look like I got hips this big. Here? Yeah. You can't tell, huh? No, because you look, I mean, you, you. Ooh, I got this shapewear on. Shapewear, what's that? And it's got like hips on it. What the hell's that mean? <laughs> it's got hips. It's got hips on it. What the fuck? Is that what came in the mail? Yeah, that's what came in the mail. <laughs> You're such a goof. Well, I mean, hey, it's, you know, I really like that shit. I mean. uh, yes. <laughs> 
See, I'm a horrible. You're a horrible. I'm a horrible fucking. Come here, um, come talk to them. You are on camera. Oh shit. Cause I'm like, you look the same to me. Yeah, that's funny that you could not tell anything. Well, because in my mind, you always look attractive, so I'm just like. Mm, you couldn't tell that my hips looked different. So you guys, what does that show you? That you can fool anyone, even the man you've been married to for over 25 years. You're not fooling me, because in my mind, you always, you always look attractive. I, I, so I was fooling you, because I don't know how you couldn't tell I look like a hole several inches wider. You look like a what? A hole? <laughs> you just said you look like a hole. <laughs> you look like a hole seven or eight. What? Holes. No, I said look how much wide I look. I feel like damn boo. Maybe I really should try to go get some surgery, huh? Man, that's ridiculous. You don't need that stuff. I don't need that stuff? No. I don't need that stuff? Why not? Because you're very beautiful as you are. Yeah, but the beauty can't just be your face. You want your body to look beautiful too. You're all beautiful to me. Anyway, y'all. Uh... <laughs> I really like this product, but I definitely should have gotten it tighter or a smaller size to cinch me at the waistline. But when he was touching this, I thought for sure he would know. But he didn't, because it just literally feels like your body fat. The thigh. The fat thigh. Although my butt is a lot firmer. I mean, I don't know. My butt is firm. But this area is softer with the enhancement. Let's see. Oh, by the way. Make sure y'all get your Lumi. Make sure y'all get your Lumi. Okay, seriously. 72 hour control. I'm so excited. You guys saw the live that I did last week. And uh, these are the Lumi Clean Freshen Up Clean Cotton Whole Body Deodorant Wipes. So, why am I talking about them again? Why am I talking about them again? Because your girl was so excited about this product that I reached out to them and asked to be an affiliate. If you like me, which I hope you do, and you like smelling good, which I hope you do, <laughs> you like smelling good and you're tired of all those fake deodorants out there with all those artificial chemicals and baking soda and whatever else they put in them poisoning yourself if you're tired of those and you want something natural that really really works and I mean really works because you can literally put this on for 72 hours like I said um, and not have to put it on again and you will still smell good. And definitely check the link in the description box to find Lumi. And you help a sister out because I get paid a little commission every time someone uses my link. So that's how it works. I bought these products myself. These are not sponsored. I bought this because I really know they work. But from now on, if you use my link, I get a little commission so do your girl a favor and check out Lumi so you and your family can start smelling your bestest you know you know it's hot you know it's hot it's getting hot so like these little wipes if I take this wipe out and I use it here and here and under here and even here <laughs> I will be fresh for days fresh and I mean fresh I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I know it was a little all over the place, but. I also hope you enjoyed watching me straighten out my desk. And of course, this try on of my fake hips shapewear. <laughs> Don't forget to comment and I'll see you soon. Bye.